So, we are still giving away tickets to go and watch Avengers Endgame. All you gotta do is watch this video and you'll find out how. So, what is popping YouTube? Watched you here with a video on Avengers Endgame, aka Avengers 4, aka Infinity War Part 2, aka Avengers Night. No, okay, that's just folk. Anyway, so if you want to win tickets for Avengers Endgame, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on, and let me know down below which of these leaks that I'm going to go over sounds more realistic because you know you guys love the leaks videos when i go over plot leaks from reddit or 4chan or 4 pleb them kind of things it's pretty awesome so we've got two one um is a bit sketchy um it could be for multiple reasons so in theory well we don't we never know if it's real guys for careful spoilers if it's real i don't want to ruin your life i don't want to ruin your experience when you go and watch avengers endgame in less than two weeks. I mean, it comes out in America officially two weeks time today on the 26th, on the 26th of April. So let's get in the video. So the first leak we're going to go over, it's a French leak from two months ago and there's no post credit scene because it wasn't shown. I like to go over these kind of things, but I think this one is pretty bad, but let's go over it. So it says the English is bad because He's French and he's tried to do his best and he watched it two months ago, which in theory, yeah, I guess if you were one of the test screeners, you could watch it, but you would be under a heavy non-disclosure agreement. I don't know if anyone in the audience has ever been to a multimedia screen or a press screening. You have to sign a non-disclosure agreement, meaning if you say anything before the embargo list, you get your ass sued pretty much. So yeah, I don't really understand where this has come from, but it's come from Reddit. And we will leave the link in this description box because that's the thing we do here. So let's get into the video. Movie opens with Thanos on a planet, but I cannot remember its name. Thanos is very happy that he did the snap. It then flashes to Tony looking into space and Nebula telling him oxygen is running out fast. Tony starts recording his message to Pepper and then decides to try and repair the ship. Title card. Uh, just before we go on, it's worth noting this was posted uh, 29 days ago. But this specific bit was posted 10 days ago. So there is some, I guess you could say, precedence because the stuff that came out from the eight minutes that was shown to the press wouldn't have been leaked then. So parts of this could be real. Back on Earth, Avengers HQ, Banner, Cap, Tasha, War Machine are talking about Thanos when there's a knock at the door. It's Kelvin giving them Fury's pager. Telling them he's gone. Banner then takes it and analyzes it to find that it's sending a signal but losing power. Natasha, Cap, go and have a talk about everything. Steve and War Machine go to the snap. Support group. Banner, Natasha talk about the Hulk. Banner once again tries to bring the Hulk out, but the Hulk again refuses. I'm just going to hit the key points now. So, so far at the moment, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean it could be real, but... I don't really think that Thanos is, is going to start like this, guys. I, I really don't think this is how it's going to start. So let's get into more of it. So the Avengers go to fight Thanos, but are easily defeated. Uh, no, actually, bros. I actually think Thanos is going to be killed right at the start of the movie. In theory, that's what I think. That's how it's going to go down. Thanos holds Captain Marvel by the neck, but Thor saves her. She is depowered a lot. Thor uses Stormbreaker to bring them back to Earth, where Banner is treating Tony. Obviously, Tony's got the infection, but he was at lo he was lost at sea, well, lost in space for 22 days, but the infection didn't kill him, which, yeah, is a pretty bad story. I really can't believe they're going that. If they are, Banner goes over to a weakened Captain Marvel and asks to scan her. She agrees. Tony and Banner look at the results and are stunned by it. They decide to make devices that can copy the Infinity Stones, but then they realize they can't. Tony and Pepper leave. Captain Marvel goes with Thor to find his people. Rocket says with Banner trying to find a way to time travel. Time skip happens. I'm going to speed things up. So, so far it's not that bad, but it's not really that good. The Avengers go back in time to copy each Infinity Stone from each place they remember having seen them. See, the problem here, guys, is for someone that's watched the whole movie, you would say, like, if I was to do this, which I wouldn't do because I'm not a douche, you would literally say how the stones are copied, not just the stones are copied. Um, fake. Fake! Nebula tells them it's the soul stone on Vormir, but she tells them to get it 
they need to lose someone they love. Cap says no because they've lost too many already. They make a plan to fight past Thanos on Volmir. Banner, Tony, Thor, Cap go to fight past Thanos. Thor nearly defeats Thanos before he uses the Power Stone. Tony uses the advice on Thanos to stun him for a minute so that Banner can copy the stones. They get out of there. See, the problem I have with this, guys, let me know in the comment box down below, guys, is they're not really going into detail. Now, if they are going to copy the stones, like I said, I pretty much said it before anyone else, and then it's everywhere, so it wasn't on plot leaks before I said it, and then everyone said it. Yeah, that's my biggest problem with what, this copying the stones theory, because that's what I said originally, the OG person that said it, and then uh, suddenly it's everywhere. But if you have watched the movie, Surely you would say how they copy the stones. I mean, speaking with my research guy, I've got a pretty cool indication of how I think they're going to do it, but that's for another video another time. Present Thanos now knows their plan and goes to the Avengers HQ when the Avengers are exciting. The Quantum Realm, he is there waiting with the Outrider. He is enraged and starts his attack. Thor and Captain Marvel defend the Stark Gauntlet. I forgot to say he's making one. Banner finally makes and becomes the Hulk and goes for Thanos. Thanos uses the Mind Stone on Hulk to try and make him turn on the Avengers, but the Mind Stone ends up merging the two and then Hulk attacks him. This Hulk is a in badass and to those wondering, Professor Hulk has no safeguard, so he's a beast. Anyway, Thanos and the Hulk go at it. Thanos nearly defe defeats him before Thor helps. The rest of the Avengers go on the attack before he gets away. He uses all of the six stones and destroys Avengers HQ. Is with Stark Gauntlet. Thanos then stomps on the Avengers logo and gives them a speech on why he did the snap before War Machine blasts him with a proton cannon. Thanos uses a space stone to retreat. Tony realizes that his gauntlet was destroyed, but Hawkeye explains the metal and tells Stone Tony where it is. Uh, I mean, yeah, guys, it's kind of hard to follow because it's been translated in French, but the gist of it is they still get their ass handed to them. Even when Professor Hulk comes out, they still get their ass handed to them. There is so many plot holes. Obviously, if you are going to leak it, obviously, if you've watched the movie, why would you skip on details? I mean, we are getting to that point at the time of the year when the movie comes out in less than two weeks, we're giving them tickets away, that if someone had seen it and leaked it, Marvel literally would have shut this shut this down so there's no real evidence i mean this is quite a generic plot point um i mean where's the loki part no one's mentioned loki um at all i mean all the attack on new york i mean we'll go with the rest and we we'll see what else it uncovers the avengers go to it and defeat some arm dealers tony forges it and the Hulk wields it and brings everyone back, but loses his arm. Every dusted victim comes back. Tony builds the Hulk a new arm. Tony tells them, oh, they must all fight Thanos. Whatever the cost, whatever it takes, Doctor Strange teleports them to Thanos. Comes out of nowhere. So this plot, he doesn't mention Tony to Doctor Strange. And then Doctor Strange comes out of the middle of nowhere. Interesting. Very interesting. It's everyone versus Thanos. Thanos still holds them off, but Thor uses Stormbreaker to cut off Thanos' arm. Cap runs, grabs it, teleports Thanos somewhere else before it gets erased. So, okay, let's go over this. So they're going to chop off Thanos' arm. Um, Disney's not really into decapitation. Disney aren't really into cutting body parts off, so I really can't see this happening. It's only a PG-13. I don't think that's going to happen. It is very interesting that Hulk's going to wield it like every other plot leak has said. So far, there isn't really much uh, evidence that makes me think said person has seen it, and it's a bit ironic that they didn't show any post-credits in this supposed plot leak so here is the epic conclusion of the mcu according to some dude on reddit the movie ends with captain america's funeral and tony gives a speech bucky takes on the mantle of captain america that is never happening because winter soldier bucky has a movie with falcon well not not movie sorry i mean a disney streaming service tv show says so he's not going to become captain america probably not maybe not i don't know i don't think so tony hands him steve shield hawkeye leaves with his family leaving his bow behind thor goes to rule his people in norway uh okay norway good decision i mean that that literally could be one of the few legit things in this actual league banner says he needs to leave to find more 
about his power. Widow says she has some unfinished business. Captain America will assemble the rest of the heroes. They did not show a post credit scene, so don't believe leaks that describe them. Bro, I don't believe this. There's no president. There's no evidence. There's no factualness. I mean, the copy the stone story. Since I said it on YouTube, it's everywhere. I mean, if you're going to say the copy the stones, at least tell me how the stones get copied. We've got a pretty cool idea, but I don't think it's going to go down like this. So I'm going to rate this a pretty bad one. Let's look up. We've got 52% up vote ratio, which... To be honest, guys, uh, it isn't really that good, but it's not that bad either. So, yeah, that one's not that bad. And now we're going to go over the grand finale. So there's a different one here. This one's actually a bit more spicy. Movie opens with Thanos taking off the gauntlet and is inspecting his wounds. He doesn't show up again until halfway through the movie. Okay, guys. Yeah, yeah that's not going to happen. The Avengers are at the HQ facing with the aftermath of the decimation. Captain Marvel arrives they explain what's happened. Thor returns to Earth with the Asgardians. Valkyrie leaves on her own. Ant-Man is sent to the future, finds his family, learns of the snap. Ant-Man and Nebula are saved by Rocket who tracked the Benatar to find his crew. They return to the Avengers base. Cap gets his shield back. Um, I mean, a good part of that could be true. One year has passed. Black Widow finds Hawkeye in his Ronin gear. His family was killed in a car crash that happened as a casualty of the snap reversing. It won't bring them back. Widow conceives him to help. The Avengers again avenge their death. Vision has been resurrected, but he's all white without emotion and has no powers. He's basically a robot butler. Um, I mean, there are leaked images that do imply that could be real. Pepper has applied the snap. We know that's legit already. She and Tony are married and have a child. Pepper resents him. Their marriage is unhappy because he has been absent with reversing the snap. He's been meticulous rebuilding tons of suit. Bruce hasn't turned into Hulk in a year. All the Avengers feel guilty for failing to prevent the snap in some way. Ant-Man arrives from the future at the Avengers HQ with the quantum tunnel, proposes the enhancements, the quantum technology to travel back in time. That bit sounds pretty cool. Tony and Banner find Rocket in a bar in Europe. He has been living on Earth on his own and has given up on reversing the snap because he's afraid to get his hopes up. He agrees to work with them and together they create a device that can travel in time to different universes this changes in the timelines won't affect their universe, I guess, if they're small. Obviously, time's malleable and all that. So that bit. But realistically, why are none of these plot leaks addressing the real problem here? How are they going to copy these stones? Tony, Cap and Ant-Man go back in time to Battle of the New York. Cap successively steals Loki's scepter after a fight with the strike team. Tony and Scott try to steal the Tesseract from past Thor but they fight. Tony tries to explain that they need it to stop Thanos, but Loki manages to free himself and uses the Tesseract to escape. Present, Thor and Hawkeye go to Nan Levere before it was destroyed by Thanos and they ask Eitri to build the gauntlet. That makes sense rather than Tony start making it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Thanos is seen again in his farm. His crops have grown. The gauntlet is healed. He visits the Soul Stone and talks with young Gamora. The conversation turns gloomy when she warns him that they're going to the end all world. Thanos realizes that he's speaking to someone else through young Gamora. They order him to stop the Avengers. Otherwise, the universe will perish from the imbalances caused by by identical identified infinity stones in the same universe. Banner and Widow visit the New York Sanctorium in the past. They surprise the Ancient One because she had not seen them in her future. She looks into Banner's soul and helps him control the rage. After a trippy scene, she hands them the time stone but warns them that there will be consequences to messing with reality. Cap travels way back to 1945 to try and obtain the Tesseract from SRS since they failed to take it from Thor in future New York. Peggy, director of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the time, agrees to give Cap after he explains everything but promises him that he will go back to 1945 and stay with her 
everyone wants that to happen. So that's pretty a fan cast thing. I'm not really sure if this is real. Thor and Rocket go to nowhere and obtain the reality stone. Loki tells past Thanos of the Avengers plan. Past Loki, Thor, future Iron Man, and future Captain America arrive in Xandar to obtain the power stone. But past Thanos has already arrived with his army. They fight. Cap uses Thor's hammer to defeat Thanos, but he escapes with the power stone. Iron Man tries to chase him but Thanos wounds him. Tony travels in time and finds himself in his workshop from his house in Cali. Pepper finds him and is worried about him, thinking he's her universe's Tony Stark. He apologizes for not being there enough for her, but she brushes it off and goes to find supplies. He leaves before she comes back. Nebula and Captain Marvel go to find the Power Stone in Ronan's ship in the past when Xandar had it. Marvel fights Ronan while Nebula fights with her past self. They succeed in stealing the Power Stone and take it to the Avengers base. Dishachari attack Nan the Veer. The dwarves and Hawkeye hold them off. He escapes with the gauntlet. President Thor takes Cap in past Volmir where he defeats Red Skull. Red Skull says they can only obtain the Soul Stone by sacrificing what they love the most. Cap tosses Peggy's compass implying that he will break his promise. The Avengers regroup at HQ when present Thanos arrives. Captain Marvel holds him off while they enter the Quantum Realm. Thanos follows them after defeating Captain Marvel. All the Avengers fight Thanos in the Quantum Realm where he can't use the Infinity Stone. Ant-Man steals the Soul Stone. They escape the Quantum Realm and leave Thanos trapped. Back at the Avengers HQ, Tony uses a contraption powered by the Gauntlet to destroy the Soul Stone. Thanos is visited by Diana, who has been ordered by a greater to send Thanos to stop the Avengers from messing with the multiverse. Thanos escapes the Quantum Realm with the help of Diana and blasts Tony away and destroys the contraption before he can destroy the Soul Stone. Nebula takes the gauntlet and sacrifices herself to destroy the Soul Stone right before Thanos kills her. Nebula flashes into the Soul Stone and sees an adult Gamora. They have an emotional scene which ends with Gamora being dusted. Nebula flashes back into the real world and is instantaneously impaled by Thanos. Gamora is resurrected in front of them, realizing what happened. Thanos teleports away. Everyone is resurrected where they had been dusted. All the heroes, including Fury, Hank, Janet, regroup at the Avengers HQ. Pepper also arrives when she realizes what happened. They all argue on what to do next. Hank blames Stark for messing with the balance of reality. Fair call, fair call. Thanos visits for more again, looking for the Soul Stone, insisting that he needs it to rebalance the universe and save countless others from collapsing. But Red Soul says, if it's been destroyed, there's nothing he can do. Thanos returns to Earth angry. He opens a giant wormhole from where he holds. The whole Chachari army enter to invade New York again. All the Avengers face up in an epic battle against Thanos and his army. Hulk uses the Infinity Gauntlet. Doctor Strange contacts the Living Tribunal. He insists that the Avengers were the ones trying to correct the universe after Thanos' actions, apologizes for harming reality, and promises that the Avengers will right the wrongs in the multiverse after they use the stones to defeat Thanos. The Living Tribunal reveals that he knew Doctor Strange had seen this vision in his future and condemns him from trying to trick the living tribunal as punishment the living tribunal immediately reverts the contraband infinity stones to their proper timelines and instead of the multiverse collapsing only the guilty universe will perish the stones all disappear from the gauntlet while hulk is still using it to fight thanos thanos gains the upper hand he chops off thor's arm and breaks Cap's shield before Thanos kills Captain America. Iron Man takes the hit and sacrifices himself to kill Thanos. Doctor Strange uses the remaining five stones from Thanos' gauntlet as an offering to the Living Tribunal to rebalance the multiverse. Now, if you compare the first leak to this leak, this sounds a lot more... It sounds a lot better. So, this is an emotional ending. Tony Stark's funeral... With a lot of Avengers, Captain America makes a speech 
with a montage playing. Captain Marvel leaves Earth. Strange returns to the Sanctorium. The Guardians of the Galaxy arrive where Peter was abducted. And he finds his grandfather, Black Panther, returns to Wakanda with a coil. Captain America says goodbye to the remaining four OG Avengers, using the quantum device to return to 1945. That is going to be so cute if it actually happens. Hawkeye rents an apartment and mourns his family. Black Widow is seen riding a motorcycle in civilian clothes. Thor returns to New Asgard with a metallic arm. Movie ends with Cap ending speech. Nebula, Tony, Thanos, Di, Gamora, Vision, and everyone. Snap is resurrected. So, there you have it, guys. We've got two compelling stories. Yes, this video is long, but we've only got two weeks till Endgame comes out. So, I want to go over a pretty awesome plot leak. Like I said, the first plot leak from the French French one, nah, that's not really going to happen. That is so, that's fake. I mean, the second one probably still is partially fake, but guys, it sounds a lot better to me. So, if you do want to win tickets, all you got to do, let me know down below what is going on in the game. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be giving away very, very soon. And also, let me know which one is better. Obviously, we can't verify or confirm if either is true. But pick one, guys. The first one or the second one. I will leave both links in the description down below. Or what we do on this channel is if we go over some plot leak, we actually show you the plot leak so you can read it for yourself. But it's worth noting that this one has an upvote of 52% where the other one, the French one, has an upvote of 82%, I believe. But that doesn't really sound that realistic to me, guys. Anyway, I will catch you in another video if you made it this far. Hashtag Team Wars 2, Team 20 Minutes Plus or something like that. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.